guys this is lovejeet arora welcome in the tag queen channel so here we are going to discuss we are going to discuss our next program that is program number 2 so here in this program we have to display okay first of all we have to input a string then we have to display the letters of that string let's say that if java is there so we just want to print like that the reverse of that okay so this we want to print that okay reverse order so let's do it practically let's do it practically here coming back to the blue j and this is our question number 2 guys this you know that why i have imported the util package because of scanner class and this is the name of my class this is my main method and i'm using the scanner class this is scanner class object i have given message to the user to input something something means a string okay so here a user will enter a string there user will enter a string okay so now what i'm going to do there there are two methods actually there are two method for that we are doing reverse we are just doing the reverse see guys the first method if i talk about so in this method what i did there in teaser i okay so now what i'm going to do there i am just inserting inside i the last index there what i'm going to do see if uh, i'm having there a double p l e apple okay so this is enter by the user so what i'm going to do there what i am going to do there here let me give some space so that you will understand it very well so inside i length minus 1 first of all you tell me what will be the value of length length is returning as a integer value that we have already discussed in our introductory part that was the video number 1 you can check out that for this okay so this is providing us the integer value as a return so guys if i'm asking what is the length of that so total how many elements are there how many elements are the length of that so how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 five are there so five is the length of that okay but if i am asking for the uh, index position that will be start from zero only okay so total five element are there so if i say that what is i i is what i is 5 minus 1 that means that is 4 okay so that is a four i hope you got that now what i'm going to do i'm just checking that is that greater than equals to zero yeah four is greater than equals to zero condition is true so that means we are going to enter inside that and i'm just printing that ith number location what exactly on that ith number location there is we are having this small e right because if i say that a a is on the zeroth number location next is on the one then two then Three and then four we are having here. Okay, so total these elements are we are having and at the fourth number location we are having e. So that we are just going to be print there. That we are just going to be print there. I hope you people got. So first of all, what we will found found find there. So that will be small e. We will find that. Okay. a uh, small e okay so the last element is there okay now i will be minus minus i was 4 this time this is 3 okay so 3 is greater than so what we are checking that is 3 greater than 0 the condition is true so we get enter inside this for loop and here we are printing the ith number location that means third number location what exactly there 1 0 1 2 Three, there is L only, so we have printed that L. So I will be minus minus. That means I was three. So now it is what? It is two. Okay. So two is greater than zero. Condition true, and we are going to enter inside that, and we are printing ith number location. That means two number location. So zero, one, two. So that is P. That is printed i minus minus i was two now it is one so one is greater than yeah condition is true so here we are printing on the one number element that is p there okay so it has printed so next time i minus minus that will be zero so guys zero is not greater than but that is equals to zero so the condition will be true so that means we are going to enter inside that and here we are checking that s dot we are just printing that s dot care at ith number location what exactly on the zeroth number location there is a capital a so in that way we have just printed the reverse order of the string which is entered by the user so now guys there is a second method there is a second second method so here what i did i have just taken here a string a empty string okay an empty string i have taken so now i have just initialized this i with zero 
so i is less than length okay i is a, a less than length so as we know that if uh, the output is apple okay if the output is apple so what will be the length that will be 5 okay length will be 5 so now we are checking that is 0 less than length condition is true so that means we get enter inside that and here s dot care at what exactly on the ith number location there is on the ith number location zero number location there is capital a so what we are doing we are just adding ss with that ss is having what a small means um, the small means nothing is there the an empty string okay so that means exactly what does it mean this line means that ss is having now what now is its ith number location that is having what a only right okay so we have added now this plus plus means a empty string is there okay so what exactly the value of the what exactly the value of ss that will be a and uh, nothing is there okay so s dot care at i i means on the zeroth number location but exactly on that there is a there is a a okay so what does it mean it means that a plus and empty string okay so it is what it is ss is having what now a is there okay so i will be plus plus i will be plus plus so i's value was zero so now it will be one so one is less than five condition is true so we get enter inside that and we are here we are what we are doing what is the value of ss actually what is the value of ss ss is having a okay so what we have done uh, s dot care at i so one number location there is what p p is there okay so what does it mean it means that ss this is having the p here okay this is having the p okay so now we are adding it we are adding here this is playing the role of concatenation so before that we were having here an empty string but uh, we have already done the one round of for loop so now ss is having what a so that i have already written there so exactly p plus a is there so if i'm asking that what is the value of ss that is now what p a okay so i will be plus plus so i's value was one so now it will be two so two is less than condition is two so now we are going to enter inside that so what exactly on the tooth number location there is zero one two so there is p okay so what we are going to do we are just we are just inserting this p p will be again because this is double p so here here ss is not a ss is this time p a okay so what we have done we have just inserted that we have concat we did the concatenation so that will be p p a okay so i will be plus plus okay so i's only value was 0 1 2 so now this time it will be 3 condition will be true and we are coming inside that and here the value of that is what l so 0 1 2 3 third number element is what l is there okay so now here l will be there and P A P A was there? No, there was P P A. So now this is what L plus P P A. So concatenation we did. I plus plus I's condition will be true. Four is uh, less than five. Okay. So what is exactly on the fourth number location? There is E. Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So here is E. So I am writing E, and here. L uh, sorry S was having L okay so the final we are having here this E okay so this we want there so this we have done with the second method this we have done with the uh, first method so both the methods are there anyone you can do okay through that anyway can, and uh, through that uh, anyone you can do there okay so let me compile that and let me show you the output there okay so if I am entering their apple okay so this is my string that i want there okay so that we have done uh, let me do it once more okay so here if i am having java so this i just want with the method number one and method number two i hope guys you people understood the concept your doubt in the comment section so thank you so much bye bye